night of encounter, I pray that the tonight will not be one of those encounters that sometimes you all have, but it will be an, a personal encounter. Uh, hold on, please. Okay. Okay. I pray that by the time we live here, um, everybody under the sound of my voice will go with the testimony. And most of the time when I, I am going through these feelings, what I plead with the Holy Spirit is that it should make everybody go through what I'm going through. Because that's the only point where you really understand where the one ministering to you is coming from. So I want us all to put everything aside. And at the same time, I want, I want it to be like a church tonight. If where you are, it is okay for you to... Uh, 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 leave your video on, I'll be happy. I, I, I just want that feeling. I just want us to have that encounter together. So those on Zoom, if it is possible for you to leave your video on, please do that for me and let's do this together. Lena. This is Amponza. You can leave your video on. Helena. <sighs> Helena, can you hear me? I want you to do a song for me now. Oh, no. Only two people have their videos on. Chris, can't you leave your video on for tonight? Uh, 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 Mrs. Amponsa, your video, not your sound. Yeah. Not, not your mic. Okay, please, I'm coming. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, my daughter is not, I don't know what's happening. Lena, I, I want, I want, I, I don't know who can do this song for us. I surrender all to you. I get, oh, Lina, Lina did this song for me when I was in the US. Lina, uh, Miss Amponsa, please call her and tell her to mute. Uh, I don't know. I am here. Yeah, why? Um, it's, it's a little noisy back here. That's why I paused. That's okay. You have to do that song. That song that we used at Worcester the other time I was there. I give myself away. Let's start with that. And um, people forgive me. I don't know how the Holy Spirit will move, but over here we allow him to move as he wants to. Sometimes the word can just change, but forgive me for those who are new here. We only allow him to do what he wants to do here. Lena, please go. I surrender all to you. I give, I give myself away. Somebody, I'm getting away. Can somebody do it quickly before I get over there? I, I'm not I'm, sure. I'm not sure who can sing that song. <laughs> can, can mommy do it? Because I'm trying to, the kids are I, here, so I'm trying. I don't know what mommy is doing and she's not here and she's not singing and her video is off. I want to see people's faces. I want us to do this together for a reason. So those of you can leave your videos on, please leave your videos on. Also for Alex, if you can leave your video on, leave your video on. Sister Gloria, if you can leave your video on, leave it on for me. I want us to do this. I want this encounter to be different. 
But let's begin to pray as uh, Lena is getting away from the, 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 the public place. Let's begin to pray. Begin to adore this God that we, who has brought us together. Begin to begin to honor him. Begin to begin to give him adoration. Begin to begin to just worship. Open your heart. Yes, Lord. You are Lord indeed. We come before your presence. We come with hearts of gratitude. We come just as we are. We come before your throne. All we want to do tonight is to bow before your throne, is to give you glory, is to give you honor, is to give you adoration. All we want to do tonight, oh Lord, is to say, take all the praise, take all the glory, take all the honor. All we want to do tonight, Father, is to lift our hands and bow before your throne and say, Father, unto your name be all the glory, unto your name be all the honor, unto your name be all the exhortation, unto your name be all the glory. Ah, holy, 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 holy. Holy you are, holy you are, holy you are, holy you are. Holy you are, holy you are, holy you are. Who can be compared unto you? Here on earth, in the heavens of heavens, uh, the eternal creator, the Elohim, the Adonai, there is none like you. We bow before your presence. We humble ourselves before your presence. We say, take glory, Father. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Father. Take glory. It all belongs to you. And we give it on to you. Father, yeah. take your glory. Father, 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 take your glory. Take your glory. Take your glory. Father, take your glory. You are God indeed. God indeed. God indeed. God indeed. You sit high on your throne, Father. Yes, your glory, your glory, your glory, your glory. This is the past you might yes, have to see and your presence. We lift our hands, we bow before your throne. We give you glory, we give you glory, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. We surrender to you. We surrender to you. We surrender to you. Yes. Let's continue to thank him. Father, we thank you, Lord. 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 Father, we
We thank you for your mercies, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we are what we are because of your grace. That we will bless your name, Lord. That we will pray for you. We are grateful. We are grateful, Lord. You lift us up when we fall. You give us life and you give it unto us abundantly. You are present with us. Ah, Father, we love you. We give you glory, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. Helen, are you ready? Jesus. I'm sure. Okay. Those who can sing can sing along with her. Go ahead, my dear. Helena, go ahead. I don't know if you know that song. I give myself away. I surrender all to you. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you with all the nothing, with all the nothing, with all the nothing, with all the nothing. And I surrender all to you. And everything I give to you. With all and nothing. nothing. With all and nothing. With all the nothing, with all the nothing, I give myself away and all God. I give myself away. So oh, you can you me. I give myself away. away. No, God, I give myself away. So oh, you. Can you I give myself away? No, God, I give myself Oh, you. Can you. Can you. 
We can end it here. God bless you so much. And um, tonight, uh, throughout the week, I've been inspired to mm -hmm. share on a topic power in his presence. Mm -hmm. And I'm not surprised that throughout the week, those of you who are on Zoom with me, sometimes I will send you the Holy Spirit is so present. Not that I was praying or anything. I was, one time I was sitting here doing my work and I just couldn't contain. I mean, it keeps happening. You know, there is power in his presence. And that is what we need. We need to enter his presence. Because when we enter God's presence, his power is activated. Amen. That is why I don't understand some people. Maybe I am different. That's why I don't understand some people, some preachers who spend all their life doing warfare. I do warfare, but it's occasional. Because what I believe is that when I enter his presence and his mm. power is activated, the enemy has no, pos no place in my affairs. And that is why I love that thing we call, what we call worship. Because it is one thing that activates that presence. And once the mm. presence is activated, the power is automatic. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Are these all the videos I can see? I want, I want this night to be like a church where I see people live. I see only three people. What is happening to all the beautiful faces and the handsome faces? Anyway, so when you read the book of Genesis, when you read the book of Genesis, a very common scripture. Let me read it myself here. A very common scripture. Genesis chapter 1. Verses 1 and 2. I hope you brought your, your notepad. To take note. Power in his presence. If, when you read Genesis 1, 1 and 2. I read. In the beginning God created heaven and the earth. So, before creation ended, God created you and I. But listen to something. If we read the verse 2, the Bible says, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. In the tree, na asasiye basa basa, ni hunu so after creation, because God's creation has not sought his presence, it was void, it was shapeless, it was chaotic, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was the, the situation was hopeless. Hallelujah. Amen. 
But the Bible says in the same verse too, the B, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And three, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. That is why tonight, I am telling you that until and unless we go into his presence, we shall not encounter his power. And until we encounter his power, our situation will be chaotic. Our situation will not know peace. Increase will not be our portion. Peace will not be our portion. It is when we encounter this God by availing ourselves, by ushering ourselves into his presence, that is where he will speak. Let there be peace. Let Amen. there be growth. Let Amen. there be increase. Let Amen. there be breakthroughs. Let Amen. there be anointing. Amen. Remember, I am talking about the God. I'm going to my favorite scripture. Uh, 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 Psalm 89, 20. Who saw that in the midst of all that David was going through, he still saw his presence. And so he said, I have found my servant David and I have anointed him with my own oil. And he goes to the point of saying that I have sworn by my holiness. Tonight, I want you to get this understanding that God is available at all times, but he's waiting for us to enter into his presence. His power never fails. What he cannot do does not exist. Amen. But it is when we enter into his presence through righteous living, through godly living, it is when we enter his presence through living upright and with worship, the heart of worship, that we encounter him and things begin to happen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you read John 3.30, the writer says, let me take it so I don't like it. He says, he must increase, but I must decrease. That is what I am talking about. When you enter into his presence, that's why we're singing that song. I give myself away. I surrender all to you. Last week, God said here that somebody is being drowned with, 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 with what was it? Those of you remember that somebody Death. was being drowned with what? Debt. Debt. Loans. You see, if you are that person, you need to enter into God's presence because that is the point where you surrender totally to him. That is the point. That you, you, you have faith, that kind of stubborn faith in him. That is the point. That you say, God, it is about you. It is not about me. It gets to a point where you see that all your age base are getting to a certain level, but you are retrogressing, but you don't cry. You say, God, I usher myself into your presence. Mm -hmm. Today I was listening to uh, that beautiful lady. What's her name? I sent, I sent her preaching to some of you. He says, sometimes we doubt God because we don't know what God, we, don't, we forget what God has done before. But if you are like David, who said in 1 Chronicles 29, 14, that who am I and what is my people, then you know that in spite of what you are going through, God has done it before. And so instead of sitting and complaining, instead of crying all night, instead of crying secretly, 
you usher yourself into God's presence and things begin to happen. The situation looks hopeless. The situation looks like the breakthrough will not come. Sometimes it looks like God has forgotten you, but you still lift up your voice, you humble yourself, and you sing, I surrender all to you. I give it all unto you. It's about you, oh Lord, not about me. I don't know how many people understand what I'm saying here. I don't know how many people are with me here. We are with you. I don't know how many people really appreciate what God is about to do. Let me go to the scriptures that I, 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 I gathered for today. Somebody go to Revelation chapter 4. Revelation chapter 4. in spite of my dejection, in spite of what I am going through. In spite of my joblessness. I Revelation chapter 4. Revelation chapter 4. <laughs> Who is reading for us? Tell you Revelation chapter 4 verse. Go to 1. We are going. Wherever we get to, we end there. Revelation chapter Chapter 4, verse 1. And after this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which it's said, okay. Hold Go on. up hither. Okay, read the one, okay. read only the one and pause there. Go up hither, and I will show these things which must be thereafter. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. What are we picking from here? Let me let me invite someone here. What are we picking from here? And thereafter, the voice that spoke to me spoke. And immediately I was in the spirit. I'm paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. and, and he said, look, the things thereafter. This is what I want you to understand. When we get into God's presence through worship, the things that happen are unthinkable. That's why even if you don't have a voice like me, your heart can always do the worship for you. 
You won't understand why throughout the week I've been bothering people. The Holy Spirit is present around me. The Holy Spirit is because not that I sing. My heart is singing. It's, it's, I, I am going through that motions of worship almost every time. Mm. You see, and when that happens, John says, this is the this account of even the third heavens, not the second, let alone the first this is the third, third heavens account that John, John gave. He says, immediately I was in the spirit. What does that tell you? When you begin to worship, true worship, don't, don't get me wrong. Worship is not only when you begin to sing. Worship is a daily act. The, 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 the art of Christianity is worship. That is why when, 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 uh, 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 what do you call Abraham got to the bottom, uh, uh, the, the mountain, and he was going up. He told he told the servants, "Wait here, I am going to worship God with a with a with a with a kid." Meanwhile, he was going to sacrifice. So every good thing we do about, as Christians is about worship. But the moment that we feel worship is when we begin to sink. So we can take it from there. When we begin to do such worship. What happens is that we are no more operating in the physical realms. No. John says immediately, I was in the spirit. So when we begin to do that kind of worship, that kind of worship that ascends to the heavenly thrones, we cease to be humans. The fire around us, the glory around us does not make us ordinary. We become some super beings. At that point, the devil cannot come close to you. At that point, sicknesses run away. At that point, situations that are not from God begin to change. So now what I want you to understand is from John 1, uh, uh, Revelations 1, 1 alone. When we begin to worship, two things happen. One, he says, I was immediately, I was in the spirit. We are transposed from the physical being to a spiritual being. And then he says what? You come and witness things that are to happen. We begin to receive from the throne room. <laughs> I don't know who is catching the revelation here. I don't know. <laughs> but let me repeat myself. What I'm saying here is that when we begin to worship, you know, the topic tonight is power in his presence. So we are taking it from the presence that activates the power. Hallelujah. And how do we activate that presence? The presence is when we avail ourselves, when we go to him in worship, when we live righteously, when we live uprightly. And so when we begin to worship, John says, uh, Sandra, can you read that again quickly? And the verse one. So this I looked and behold, a door was open in heaven. Yes, please. And the first voice which I heard was it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So a door was open in heaven. Let me go to my Bible. Right. So one, the doors of heaven begin to open. When we activate that presence, the doors of heaven begin to open. At that point, you don't need to call a pastor or a prophet for things to happen because you have activated the doorpost of heaven to open. And you begin to receive directly from heaven. That's why the angel said to John, come and write down the things that are to come. At that point, God begins to speak to you. It is, it is an encounter of a lifetime. Mm. So those of us who have been complaining all the time, Let's begin to worship. Complaining does not act. It drives away the spirit of God. It is a vexation to the spirit of God. Faith, worship, is what activates heavens. 
to speak on our behalf. Amen. So immediately I was in the spirit. A door was open. And I pray tonight that if you catch this revelation and begin to worship, the doors of heaven will open for you. And when it, 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 it starts opening for you, you receive directly from above. Amen. And I go to verse 2. And immediately I was in the spirit. That's where the and spirit behold, comes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do I have explained that? Go. The throne was set in heaven. Okay. And he said, and he that sat no, no, no. was to we look like a just one after the other, Sandra. And a certain thing. Sandra, take your time. Only okay. the verse two. Please. Okay. Okay. Only the verse two. And immediately I was in the spirit. Mm-hmm. And behold, a throne was set in heaven. And one sat on the throne. Amen. Ah, what a beautiful if you don't have certain encounters such simple songs you will not understand it and you don't know why people cry when we sing this song just few lines yet people cry because what they are seeing is not what you are seeing what they are going through is not what you are going through when we begin to worship I told you we are transposed from the physical to the spiritual and that is where we get access to the holy of holies Mm. Mm. he says and behold there was a throne don't I take that again and immediately I was in the spirit and behold a throne was set in heaven Ah. and one sat on the throne no no just the two and one sat on the throne is that part of the two yes please Yes, so please. you see what, where we are going. It is the moment that we get into the God's presence that he breaks the partition and he grants us access to the Holy of Holies. That is the point where we encounter the Christ. That is the point when we begin to understand really who God is. That is the point that we experience what John says, that the time is coming and the time is now when true worshipers shall worship God in truth and in spirit. Until you have a certain encounter, there are so many things that you hear, that you see, that you can never understand. But by the act of worship, that activates the presence of God. We begin to have an experience of the throne. And so at that point, you understand why the woman brought an alabaster box. The alabaster box is worth somebody's three months or so salary. Or is it a year? I have to check again. But that woman broke it at the feet of Jesus. Because at that point, nothing matters to you again. So you understand why somebody will sell a car and sow it into God's work. You understand why somebody will resign from a well-paying job, respectable, and say, I am going to start back afresh with God. 
It is only when you have such an encounter that you understand what I'm saying and what John is saying. I was in the spirit and I saw the throne. What a beauty to behold. And someone who sat on the seat. Sandra, let's go to that someone who sat on the on the on the on the seat. The throne was in heaven, and one sat on the throne. Mm. Amen. No, no, no. The verse three. Yeah. And he that sat was to look like a jasper mm. and a sudden stone. Mm. And there was a rainbow run about the throne mm. in, in sight like unto an emerald. Amen. Amen. Take it again. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sudden stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. Amen. Amen. You see, if you go to, I think that um, chapter eight, I think it's chapter eight of Revelations. God gives, uh, uh, John gives an, a description of God that he, or is it five or eight? I'm messing it up. He who sat on the throne, he said that his hair is like wool, white, mm -hmm. flowing. He says that his eyes, it pierces more than the sun. He says that when he speaks, his voice is is it tenders more than the 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 the, the, the ocean. It says his feet they are like brace in fire, like bronze or whatever in fire. That is the kind of glory. His face you cannot you cannot behold. It's, 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 it it bright shine it shines brighter than the sun. That's the glory we are talking about. When we're kids, imagine, not even as kids, even now, we don't normally see the rainbow like we used to do. When you mm -hmm. see the rainbow, look at the beauty of it. Look at how, how, how you are astonished. Now, John's description is that someone sits on the throne and the sudden stone, precious, precious stones surround him. <laughs> and the rainbow around him. You know, it is when we go to God's presence that he gives us that enablement to encounter Christ like never before. So when you hear people saying humanity means divinity, that is the only point when humanity means divinity. It is when we go into God's presence because outside God's presence is all trouble, it's all failure, it's all disappointment, it's all tears, it's all chaos. But in his presence is that joy, in his presence is that peace, in his presence is that glory, awesome glory. And that is the point when you avail yourself that divinity encounters humanity. And when divinity encounters humanity, do you know what happens? Natural laws cease. Human protocols don't work anymore. What happens is supernatural. Hallelujah. <laughs> that is why Gideon encountered this, this, this divinity. And raised up his hand, and the son was it Joshua? And the son sure. mm. had to stand still. Amen. That is what I'm talking about. Mm. That is the God I'm talking about. Mm. When we enter into his presence, when we enter into his gates, mm. things begin to happen. We become 
Mm. You are peace. We gain access to the heavenly thrones, the holy of holies. Mm. We have a special mm. encounter with Jesus Himself. We bestow His glory, we behold His glory, and His glory comes to us. It is this encounter that Moses had. And the Bible says that when he came down from the mountain, the people would not look at his face for days. Verse 4. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, mm. and they had on their heads crowns of gold. I take it again. And run about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Amen. And they sing, worthy, you are worthy, King of kings, Lord of worthy. worthy. Verse 5, Dad. Mm-hmm. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings. Can you finish the four? Yes, please. 
No, no, and no. Go back. Okay. You finished, but I didn't finish. Okay, okay. <laughs> and round about the throne were four and twenty seats. Hmm. And upon the seat. I saw four and twenty elders sit, and they had on their heads ah. crowns of gold. Can we lift up our heads? Can we lift up our heads and just tell the Holy Spirit to drop this? this, this uh, drops, I mean, whatever. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Okay, in Jesus' name, I'm trying hard to restrain myself in Jesus' mighty name. So, in the four. In the verse 4, you see, the throne is surrounded by the cabinet ministers in heaven. The four and the 24 elders, the cherubims and the seraphs. So, you know, when we get into God's presence, not only does he open the gates of heaven for us? Not only do we, do we enter into the Holy of Holies, but we join forces with these heavenly beings and we worship God together. We don't need to die before we go to heaven and worship. We start the rehearsal from here. And the only time that you have that rehearsal is when you go into God's presence and he opens the heavens for you and you join the four and the 24 elders uh, where there is an encounter, where there is, uh, there, is, there, is uh, there, there is that meeting between humanity and divinity and you begin to worship. That is the presence mm -hmm. I am talking about. That is the presence I am talking about. I remember when one day God said, tell this daughter of mine that she's going to have a very strong encounter from this time. And one day, this daughter of the living God called me crying. That daddy, I can't take it any longer. The Holy Spirit will just not leave me. When I sleep, when I wake, when I'm driving, even at work, 
is becoming too much. I pray from tonight that people under the sound of my voice will begin to have that encounter. I pray that from tonight. Everybody here as an individual will begin to have that presence. Because the moment in his presence, I pray that from tonight. For the first time in his life, he asked. Who are you all Oh, Ya <laughs> We have spoken about his presence. All that I have done tonight so far is to open your understanding and I pray the Holy Spirit will open it more for you to understand and appreciate how we activate this presence. You see, sometimes people will get me wrong when I talk about warfare and all that, we pray certain prayers too long. We magnify the devil. Activate God's presence and the devil have no place for you to even talk about him. Somebody curses you and you are running away. The realms that you are operating in, curses don't operate. So the person curses you, you laugh, you smile and go away. I was telling a friend, a friend I'm with here, that there are so many things I don't even pray about. Not that they are not scary. There are things God shows us. There are things people call to tell us. They are scary. Sometimes it is about death. Sometimes it, it sounds like this is your last day. The devil is taking your life. But I hear and I laugh because instead of crying, I activate the presence of God. I go to my room, I lay prostrate, and I say, God, here I am. Once again, it is me. I need your presence. And I hope somebody will understand where I'm coming from. And somebody will understand why I always say I don't have so much time for warfare. No, I have time for praise. I have time for worship. 
Daughter, let's go to verse 5. And out of the throne proceeded lightning and thunder. Let's take this very carefully. We are now moving to power. Power in his presence. Now, when we enter his presence, when we activate that presence, what happens is what blows the devil's mind. What happens? Power. Somebody say power. Power. <laughs> what happens is power. Awesome power. Unstoppable power. Power that is deeper and bigger than the ocean. Power that yeah. nothing and no one can stand against. When we activate the presence of the living God, that is where the power, that is where God activates his power. That's why I told you a few minutes ago that when we open ourselves and avail ourselves and enter into his presence, what happens? Yes. Protocols don't work. Human laws don't work. Science, scientific, uh, what do you call it? Uh, hypothesis no, 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 no. or theory don't work any longer. No, 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 no. Psychology ceases to work. What happens is supernatural. Yes, sir. When humanity needs divinity. So verse five, what 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 is he saying? And out of the throne proceeded lightning and thunderings. Mm-hmm. And what was and thunderings and voices. And and there were seven lamps of hold on, fire my daughter, burning hold before on. the throne. Hold on, let's catch the revelation. Mm-hmm. When we enter into his presence, then God begins to move. Amen. And when he begins to move, there is lightning, there is tendering, and there are voices. Yes. That is the point where he nullifies every weapon of the enemy. Amen, my Jesus. Amen. That is the point. When you cause him to be what is not there. That is the point. When the voice speak that my daughter, my son, your prayers have ascended to me. This is the key that you need. That is the point where the enemy is brought to shape and silenced. So when I tell you that worship and praise is better than warfare, you understand me. Mm. We are warfare, our brethren. But when you worship and enter into his presence, mm. sometimes we do warfare to the point that we even forget the God that we are praying to because mm. we make the mountain bigger than God. So he, he sits and then just looks at us. At us. If you think your situation is bigger than me, then go and solve your problem. But when we magnify him by activating his presence, then the voices will come. Then the tendering will come. Then the lightning will come. It will strike every enemy. The lightning will burn everything that is not from God. And his power will be activated in you. And when you go to the mm-hmm. next session, it says, and I saw the seven candlesticks. I saw mm-hmm. the seven spirits of God. The seven spirits mm-hmm. of God represents the graces that God gives to his children. It represents the giftings that God gives to his children. It, it, it represents uh, 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 operations within the spiritual realms. That's why I'm telling you tonight that until you move into God's presence and begin to dwell there, there are so many keys that you cannot get. The power that we need is in the presence of God. The healing that we need 
Ah, and I see, ah, 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 and I see healing coming. Mm -hmm. Somebody take your healing tonight. <laughs> and God is saying this is not just healing from poverty. This is healing from barrenness. This is healing from 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 from, from being single. This is healing from the every dimension of life. Thank you, Jesus. And I speak healing into your future. I'm not a scientist, I'm not a neurosurgeon, but I see the brain of a human being. And, and I'm asking God, why am I seeing this? And God is saying that there is an oppression for somebody here. But I have already done it and it's not going to happen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 So there's more detail to that. The Holy Spirit is saying somebody has been stressed, stressed, and it is affecting the person's thinking. It's affecting the person's health and it's affecting the brain. Those of you who do science, who know how it happens. I don't know. I'm just speaking what the Spirit is telling me. It is affecting. Mm. I don't know how overthinking affects the brain. I, ordinarily, I know it affects uh, BP issues and stress and all that, but the brain, but the Holy Spirit is saying, hold on and trust me. I have taken this burden from you. Jesus. I have taken this burden from you. I have taken this burden from you. Just trust me and let me do my thing. Just know that I am the God who speaks. And every situation comes to an end. <laughs> Continue to let me be the God of your life. Let me do, let me reign. In the midst of all that you are going through, let people know that I am God. I have not forsaken you. The times and seasons are coming. In that presence, the power of God is activated. And when that power is activated, He speaks the air quivers. He gives us that glory, that gifting, that anointing, that grace, that breakthrough. He silences the voice of the enemy. And tonight I decree as a servant of the living God that every voice of the enemy against you is silenced and silenced for good. In Jesus' name, amen. Ah, we'll end it here. We'll end it here. When, 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 I mean, Revelations 4 is only 11 chapters, 11 verses. When you go read the others, the others is about the heavenly, glorious worship. It talks about the sea crystal like diamond. That is the purification. It represents the blood of Jesus. And that's the purification that we get when we go into his presence and his power is activated. And tonight I pray that he will sanctify you. I pray that he will purify you. I pray that he will give you a course to be in his presence. God in the name of Christ. Just, just, just read the others. When you are on your own, I can go on and on and on. Enough for tonight. Let's begin to thank the living God. You know, even as much as God, hold on. Even in as much as God has spoken to us so much tonight. I mean, Revelation 4 is a scripture, I, it's a, 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 chap, a chapter I love. For years, I have been reading it. 
and daughters of glory Jesus have a song. I listen to that song most of the time. Also, I was playing it, those who came early. But you know, when the Holy Spirit gave me this word, the kind of revelation that he has given me is far beyond all the times that I have read the scripture. But even as God is speaking to us, what the Holy Spirit is telling me is that there are people under the sound of my voice who are doubtful. But a song that the Holy Spirit is asking me to give you, sing it in your prayer. Sing it in your closet. Sing it at work when you are bathing, when you are eating, when you are driving. It's ensonia. So this, this, this message does not warrant this song. So it's not one of the songs that was on my heart. But it's coming for the sake of those who are still doubting God. Can we all meet? Can we all meet? Let's 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 let
mute yourself and on the and on the and on the We are moving. We are moving into a whole new dimension now. We are moving. We are moving. Go on with that song, please. You are welcome in this place. Just focus on Christ. There is an outpouring happening now. There is a strong move. That's what the night is about. God is marking some people under the sound of my voice. Mm. <laughs> are going to go through certain sensations. Are going mm -hmm. to go through certain movements. A cold breeze, sudden warmth, a shiver. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's happening. It is happening. Receive. Wherever you are, receive. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Take it. Dreams of anointing and power. In your silence, receive it. In your silence, take it. Yes. God has announced his presence. He says, I'm here. I'm with my children. Take it. 
and now receive the giftings of the Holy Spirit. I cannot give that. Only the Holy Spirit gives that. Receive the giftings of the Holy Spirit. I see five. I see five. Five people receive giftings and let there be manifestations. Five. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I hear evangelism. Whenever God sends me, those that he calls into for evangelism, he sets fire on their feet and sometimes they cannot stand. They begin to jump. There are people here, your feet are being set on fire now. The revival for evangelism is taking place. Your feet will begin to get warm and warm and warmer. <laughs> Take it. Take it. Take it. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Take it. Shakataya masukate. Andaraya mashimiria. Sukiti kataya masakata. Who is ready to move for Christ in these end times? Take it. Take it. Thank you, Jesus. And for everybody whose time for marriage is now, I see a plate, beautiful, small, flat plate. Do we call it saucer? And I see a lot of rings on it. And I see people picking them. Take your marriage. Take your marriage. And for somebody, I see a fight. But God has defeated the enemy. And you have taken your ring and you are smiling. The enemy said it will not happen. Not in that family. But God says you are different. You are separated from the family. Mm -hmm. Generations. Generations. Mm -hmm. Generations of end time ministers are going to come through you. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Where is this, my daughter? Rose. Yes, dog. Please, I'm here. Hello. What is today's date? Please, today is 31st October. Two years from now will be what? 2023. What? 31st October 2023. If Jesus has not come, mm. the job of your desire will be given to you. Amen. Amen. I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oof. Thank you. Right. Many people have left us. Okay, let me stop the recording and we talk. Uh, for those on Facebook, God bless you for joining. Um, that's where
we leave you. WhatsApp me if you want me to add you to the Zoom platform. Um, if you want me to add you to those who receive invitations, just send me a WhatsApp. I'll add you every Sunday, God willing, 8 o'clock Ghana time, 10 o'clock where I am, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern time. We are here meeting God. And it's only the presence of God that we allow here. Let me stop the Facebook.